Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got baby girl lacquer. Some like it hot, some like it hotter, and Mora Damascus Drapery Plate. I'll be starting off with Neltix Formula 2 and here is Some Like It Hot, Some Like It Hotter from Baby Girl Lacquer. It is a jelly packed, yummy, squishy, juicy, ugh, polish. This one is a lot of fun. It's got all kinds of goodies in it. It's got like little shards of hollow flakies and oh, mm, I love it. I'm going to cap my free edge there real quick. And hi Woody, how you doing? Yes, yes, cleaning up my mess. So here we go with our second coat of some like it hot, some like it hotter. And two coats is good, but you know. I'm going to do a third one. I normally do with jellies. And here we go with that third coat. Very, very nice. So this is my first polish from Baby Girl Lacquer and I have to say I'm quite impressed. Get that flaky off the tip of my nail there. And we're going to get a visit from Woody again. Hi Woody. I'm going to top this one with some of the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. And it just makes this polish sing when you put that glossy top coat over the top of it. Oh, it's just ugh. so nice. Being sure to cap my free edge. And Woody's back. <laughs> oh, he's such a good guy. All right, so here's my swatch photo of this polish on its own. I'll be using the Moira Stamping Plate number 11, the Damask and Drippery Plate, my beauty scraper. This is Bundle Monsters Rave Babe. It's a neon. And I'm going to start off with this Nicole Diary NS01, the white stamping polish. But I wanted to do kind of a gradient polish stamping today. And I didn't have very much of this Nicole Diary White left, so it wasn't leaving me the big blob. So I'm going to run some more, you know, of the polish down further on the plate. I normally don't do it this way, but this one kind of needed it. <laughs> so I'm going to do two scrapes across the image, and then I'm going to pick it up. And I'm not worried about centering these. Uh, yeah, I wasn't, that wasn't my goal, so... Um, we're just going to plop that on the nail. I've changed to Shut Out by Braves Diva because I've got more of it and I can do bigger blobs up at the top. And this will make this manicure go so much faster. <laughs> Being able to do the bigger blobs at the top. <clears throat> I am doing two scrapes on all of these because I want to kind of blend the colors a little bit. And I'm just really loving this already. I am doing different images off of this plate. This is such a neat plate that I just wanted to play with them. I want to play with the plate. But I'm doing all of them pretty much the same. You know, blobs and globs of polish across the top. And then I'm checking to make sure I didn't get any of the white polish on that brush. If you do, just wipe it on a paper towel so that you don't contaminate your bottle. And there we go with another image. Having so much fun here. So I'm sorry I'm out of frame for this. I don't know. I guess I must have slid the plate a little bit. But you will get to see me do the scrape and the applying it. Here we go. Scrape, scrape. Pick that image up. Plop it on my nail. And then one more. I really love this image in the corner. It is just so pretty. The little diamond shapes. Love it. Double scrape. Pick up. And deposit that image on my nail. So there we go. I'm going to clean off my scraper with my cotton ball and then I'm going to do kind of like a rough cleaning over the plate and then wipe it with a paper towel. This is how I clean a whole plate when I've messed up everything. 
do a wipe down with a paper towel and then a little tiny bit more I do like to put them up quite clean I definitely want to make sure I can get as much off as I can I'm gonna go in with a piece of tape and get up some of this excess stamping polish off of my finger and it's coming up pretty well not perfect but you know pretty good got that bird speeds on there kind of protecting everything I am going to go in with my cleanup brush and do a little bit of cleanup here. And so far, I'm really liking this manicure. Kind of a little funky and different. So now I am going to use the IMK Peel Ease. It's a water based base coat for peel off, but it does work really well as a smudge free top coat. So I'm going to put a coat of that on there and let it dry completely. Hi Woody, how you doing? Hiya, hiya. So I'm gonna dry, dry that completely and then I'm going to apply my posh top coat. Seal it all in. And there we go, cap that free edge. And Woody's back. Some days are just messier than others. There we go. So here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about my manicure. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.